everyone welcome back to my channel it has been a minute since I've done one of these videos it is my drugstore dealer dump series and I'm glad to be back I have a full list of things that I absolutely want to go over um, I have from foundations to concealers to shadows to everything that I've just been picking up from here and there whether they be PR packages that are coming in or when I'm at the drugstore and I just see it and I'm like oh my gosh I think my girls that are watching this would absolutely love a review on this. To let you know how these little videos work, they're pretty quick. I like to test out a product, give you my first impression, and then check back in at the end of the day just to let you know how everything kind of held up. And I really try to be honest all the way around, especially if it's like a one-time use, because sometimes, like with concealers and stuff, I feel like you need to understand how it sits on your skin before you can really give it a fair review if you will um so this is more just kind of introducing the products to you too in some cases but for something like this like today's product this is the rimmel london provocalypse now this has been out before it's not necessarily new but i think these might be new colors because i have definitely tried these in the past and i absolutely loved them and then i forgot about it and this was sent to me in a pr package so then i was like oh we need to try this again now if I have a high-end version of something that I love and then I found the drugstore counterpart, this is definitely where you would find a review. Um, but for this, I don't know if there's a high-end version of this that exists. I'm sure there is somewhere. I just haven't come across it myself. So the way this works is that there are two steps. So on one end is the color right here. And this one is a beautiful kind of mm, dusky pink, like a rose pink. And these were sent during Valentine's Day, so I'm pretty sure I got a lot of those colors. But I do know that there's this one nude color that is just gorgeous. Um, I have to figure out which one it is. And then step two is the actual sealant. So what you want to do, it's called Lock and Shine, step two. And it says it like written out on the actual stick itself. Pretty straightforward. You just apply it, let it dry for a second, and then go on with step two. And this is definitely a little bit of a brighter color for me, like day to day, but... Okay, and this color, by the way, is called 430 Wish Upon a Berry. So again, I was given about four or five colors. Gorgeous colors. This was just the most neutral, which if you guys follow me elsewhere, you know that's kind of my jam. But even then, this is like a little bit of a berry color. Okay, so there's that. The idea is just let it sit for a second and then you put the sealant on. So let's go ahead and put the sealant. And then it literally locks in. It dries down. I'm gonna check back in and let you guys know how it dries down and everything, but it's at 16 hours of color. So this is what it looks like. I think it's a really pretty shade, really easy to work with. Um, and yeah, let's just see. I've let it sit for about a minute. Let's just see if it immediately transfers. Wow, can you see that? Nothing. There's maybe like a little bit of gloss, but there's nothing there. All right, so I will check back in and we'll get into some more details. Hey guys, okay, so I'm just checking back in. As you can see, there is a shadow because the sun is starting to set. It's around 5.15 here. It's been about seven hours. Since I applied this lipstick, I want to get in a little close and show you guys um, what it really looks like. So you guys can see, um, it is still there. Like, I mean, even, even when I go like this, nothing comes off. Do you see that? It's like very faint. I guess a little bit comes off, but like, I'm doing this. It's like hardly anything. I did a cup test kind of similar to, you know, kissing my arm. As much as I do that, nothing. I mean, literally, it's pretty, pretty ridiculous. The one thing I will say is that, you know, over time, this can usually happen where like you see that line, that film that forms from your lipstick onto your natural lip line and normally with like liquid lipsticks I notice that so much and it's really strong and apparent which is why I usually always mix it with a little bit of lip gloss 
but I did not put any lip gloss on top of this and that is not that bad at all. Um, my lips are cracking just a tiny bit, but I would also say that I could, you know, probably do for a little hydration. And I have actually tried this with lip gloss over um, and you know, initially it does definitely transfer, but as far as the base of it, it will not go away. And in the past when I have tried this, the one thing that's crazy is that even when you try and remove it, like the next day you'll see remnants of it. So it's awesome because it will stay on, like especially if you're looking for a really nice dark color, it's gonna stay on really, really well. Um, but that also sometimes makes you question like, what's in this, you know what I mean? So I did wanna go over what this is, how much it costs and all that stuff. So let's get to that. Okay, so let's just go over some of the basics around this particular um, formula, the Rimmel Provocalypse 16 hour kiss proof lip color. I will say it's absolutely kiss proof. Um, I'm really impressed. A lot of times people will ask me like, oh, this liquid lipstick didn't stay on very well. And like, yeah, they don't usually. This one, I mean, it's foolproof. It really is. Um, there are 16 shades. And from what I'm looking at here, I have about four or five of them. I gave a few to my mom because she wanted them. But there are like at least four or five that I would absolutely use here. There's this one color. And this is the one I have tried in the past. It's called Kiss Off. And that one is beautiful. It's like this kind of neutral, nudie. It's just, it's really, really pretty. Um, and it retails for $8, around eight to $10, depending on where you're buying from, CVS, Target, Ulta. It's pretty awesome. Um, and it does say to apply the color, keep lips apart for 60 seconds until the product sets. So yeah, that's about it. I mean, for 10 bucks, this is a fantastic deal I think. Um, I'm also not mad at this color. Like I wore it all day. I was thinking maybe that berry might be a little too much for me because I do really like my neutrals, but I am a-okay with this. It's really pretty. Um, this for me, even if you're someone like me who likes more of that gloss feel or that moisturized look, this is not going to um, bother your lips. Do you know what I mean? It, it doesn't give you that super dry feeling where you feel like, oh, I need to keep hydrating them. And like at the end of the day, you have some like ring around your lips and stuff like that, that other liquid lipsticks can have. This is awesome. I'm really digging it. I will definitely be reaching for this more. So my verdict with first impressions and the wear test is that this is a 100% a drugstore deal all the way. You cannot go wrong with this. Um, and I promise you, matte or not, you're gonna love this thing. So um, I think there's lots of shades to choose from that are really pleasing for all skin tones. I'm gonna leave the specific one that I'm using down below as well as the other shades I have tried that I really, really like. So if you guys have any questions at all, be sure to leave them down below. Um, and let me know what you guys wanna see next. I have a few things lined up, but I always love hearing what it is that you guys want me to test out. So let me know and I'll see you next time. Bye.